This place is huge. And a long time ago, this was our chandelier factory. Weird pipes. There's like ladders and stuff. Massive windows. And this is the first time I've seen one of these guys in a New York City apartment. It's definitely convenient for some of us. Welcome to Brooklyn. We took the train to the Halsey Street Station. And look at that, the apartment is five minutes away. And not only is that convenient, look at all the stuff that's over here. We got your local discount store with neon green brooms. Plus look, they sell oranges. And this pink pinata looking thing. I don't know how much it costs, but it's probably cheaper here than anywhere else. There's also a bunch of these candy stores everywhere. Another discount, Friend John's Cleaners. The more the lights are flashing at a deli, the better the food is, that's a fact. See, Dunkin' Donuts, no flashing lights. Does that explain why the coffee's so bad? Oh, I hope none of these people are getting the coffee. Just the Boston cream donuts, that's the only acceptable purchase. Fish market, nail salon, dollar junction. This is the cheapest place to get a drink. Actually, that's the same price as everywhere else. Nice, got a local bike store over here and they do e-bikes next door. If you get a flat, you're gonna need that. And this massive building, this is a key food. This is your grocery store. You know it's not a bodega because it has actual shopping carts and there's no flashing lights. Then we have the super mega laundromat. I don't know if the place we're about to see has laundry in it and they do dry cleaning. Pizza, daycare, Brooklyn Lobster. Now, if you own all the Fast and Furious movies on DVD, you will be thrilled that we have the Rim Store right here. Get yourself some 20s with a scorpion right there in the middle. If not, how will anyone know you did a terrible job modifying your car by yourself? Over here, we got the local buffet. It's Spanish, bro, they got some amazing stuff in here. The mac and cheese. Then you could pick yourself up a shiny white refrigerator, and then you can spend a relaxing evening at the Neptune Hotel. I heard it was like 79 bucks a night. That seems pretty cheap. And maybe in the past, this was like an apartment building or something. It looks like an apartment building, but the past was probably a long time ago. All right, here's the building. We have arrived. There's a thrift store downstairs. That is the entrance. And from right here in front of the place, you've got the grocery store across the street and you're next to the artesian supply store, which sells craft stuff. And the boxing gym, they'll give you a free pair of boxing gloves, which will make getting punched in the face by the other students perfectly safe. Right, I'm ready. Ooh, free bike storage. This is actually a chandelier factory. A chandelier factory. Yeah, I know, right? Are these chandeliers from that factory or are they from Home yes, Depot? The whole building has chandeliers. Oh, really? Yeah. So these are probably worth a lot of money. <laughs> Whoa, this is huge. Shout out to Natalie for letting us see this place. Look at how wonderful she is. If you want the biggest place in Brooklyn, she has it. I will put her email right here on the screen. Contact her. It has a urinal. Oh, it's so, um, $5,800, 2,500 square feet, seven bedrooms. That tub looks like something out of a magazine. It's got the little feet. Oh, it's so cool. I like the chandelier factory vibes. They haven't gotten rid of that. And look at the intricate details on the ceiling. There's also these super old wear warehouse-ish pipes, which you shouldn't touch. And over here by this massive window, look, there's like ducting up there. And then in this particular bedroom, if we open this up, we can see we've got the water heater, which that's big enough for seven bedrooms. And then we got this thing right here, which heats the place up. Whoever sleeps in here might pay less rent. I would go broke filling this with furniture and I think this is too big for me to live in by myself. I think this is a roommate apartment unless Ikea wants to sponsor some videos for me. Help me fill this with cheap Swedish furniture. I was told there was also a roof deck. I don't see 
see any furniture up here, but I'm sure you could bring some. We've also got an amazing view of the train tracks. You could see like clear into Manhattan, which is where this train will go. Off in the distance there, you can see Midtown and the Chrysler building, the very top, as well as One World Trade. Oh, this is really something else. This is so Brooklyn. And it's cool that there's like a grill up here and there's like a fence, so it seems kind of safe. You can see the whole rest of the neighborhood. And I hear some weird noise. What is that racket? Who is doing that? I don't know. It's coming from somewhere. So right after you walk in, you are gonna be overwhelmed by the amount of space that this place has. Most of the apartment is this way, but then over here we've got like a den area. This is 27 and a half by 10 feet. That's bigger than entire apartments here in New York City. And you're gonna notice that there's these lights on most of the walls and there are outlets where there need to be. There's another one over here. You could have a TV mounted on the wall. You could have a big couch. You could also transform this into like a little work from home area. Now over by the door, you've got a lot of entryway space. I would put a bench right between these columns, which are pipes of some kind. Now this area here by the door, you have to walk through here to get places, so you can't put anything in the middle, but maybe you could hang some art over there, or maybe use this as a place for like extra storage of some manner. Then we have the largest room in the apartment and it's kind of hard to measure because it's not perfectly square, but it's 33 by 29. Between the column and these rooms, this is like just another living space. You've got another area by the window and then we've got this massive eat-in kitchen. Setting this up is gonna be expensive, but it's gonna be cool. Entertainment center against that wall. All this can be seating. And I think you're gonna need at least three couches to fill this out. This area could be a little hangout. You could have seating against the wall. There's also this really impressive ledge. Put some padded uh, things here, maybe some pillows, make it a hangout. The windows, they don't open, but they are modern. They don't feel cold, so well insulated. Actually, wait, no, I lied. They do open up here, right? Oh, okay. There we go. Sweet. So they do open. Now, yes, that is the train track, but we haven't heard the train much because these are doing a great job blocking sound. This door, this is the um, former men's room. <laughs> Got a little sink right here. Really good water pressure. There's also a traditional throne. Would it have been nice to see this as a full bath with like a little standing shower? Yeah, but I think this is gonna be useful either way. here is an incredibly big, basic kitchen. And that's not an insult. Look, it's got tons of counter space, tons of cabinets, but only two appliances. Both of which are nice. I mean, this stuff ain't cheap. I like how the oven is made by an air conditioner company. At Frigidaire, we make things hotter than they're supposed to be or colder than they're supposed to be. Never room temperature. What's pretty sweet is we got two of these pull out pantries right here. That's gonna be really useful. Look how it just kind of borders the stove. One, two, three outlets. You will be able to have tons of kitchen appliances. Sinks nice and deep. Got ourselves a sprayer. And what's crazy is look, they could have kept going with this kitchen, but they stopped. So you got plenty of room for a table. In this corner over here would be perfect for shelves, kitchen storage, maybe like a standing pantry or cabinet. You could really do a lot with this. Oh, a tub like this, this is how you know you've made it. Love this, and this second bath, this thing is really traditional. Normal throne, big sink, mirrors, and there is even a little standing shower with the overhead shower head, and another shower head that goes into the tub. Conceivably, one person could shower here, and the other person over here, if there's 
there's a curtain. Don't act like that's weird, we're in New York City. But what is kind of weird, this has a red light bulb. I don't know if that meant something special because it is near the front door, maybe it's like an exit thing. But the bedrooms, they kind of are all against this one wall. But the smallest room with the least exciting view is this one, and I say least exciting. There's just kind of like this opening up here. That is your window to the outside world. But this is eight feet by 11 feet, three inches. A bed, a dresser, a desk, it'll all fit. And if the rent here is equal, 825 a month, 828 a month. Luckily, the other rooms in here all kind of have a view like this. 11 feet, nine inches, 13 feet, eight inches. This particular room has a dimmer switch. All of them have the wall lighting. There's no overhead lights, probably because there's no wires in what looks like a tin ceiling. There's our vent for heat. If you don't trust your roommates, you'll be happy that there's a lock on every single door. That's the first room that we saw on this side. Then over here, we've got this guy. It's a little bit smaller, but it's still above 80 square feet. We have a window with the same view as the living room. I don't know why there's a safety gate here. I do not see a fire escape, so maybe this could get removed. And that room is about the same size as this guy. Actually, I lied. This one is about 95 square feet. The duct looks cool in here, how it kind of swoops. No dimmer switch. Does it matter? I think it's well lit. But room number four here, this is another one of the big ones with two windows and a fire escape. So I'm on the fire escape. Maybe this isn't like a place you're supposed to hang out on. Um, those other windows are for our apartment. Oh, it's quiet back here at least. And I bet in the summer, these trees have nice and green leaves on them. Looks like the neighbors have an illegal patio of sorts. Okay, it's cool, but I don't know how useful it is. Unless there's a fire, then it'll be really useful. Next to that, we have the second to last room. Ooh, look at the duct in here, man. That thing kind of really looks prominent. That's the word I'm going for. But anything this big, this will fit a king bed. You know, you can have it right here between the two lights. This is 14 feet by 13 feet. So if you also wanted like a desk, bunch of standing wardrobes, have at it. Interesting, this one has um, a couple of locks on the door. And at first it looks just like everything else. Well, look, there's a built-in closet and it's like, insanely big. I think this counts as a walk-in closet. And as far as the bar to hang stuff on, I think it's that pipe. I can't imagine what else they were doing. But this is just an overwhelming apartment in every sense of the word. And if enough people live here, it's really affordable. If that's you, check out the video description for all Natalie's contact info. Subscribe if you had fun. I'll see you in the next video.